please give it up for Theo. Turn, turn on the mic. Is it off? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole new world. <laughs> um, um, yeah. What is there about my life? Um, uh, wait, where's the clicker? <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, I'm Theo, I'm German, uh, not to be confused with Hermann, who is not German. Um, um, I have a huge fear of heights, which is kind of uh, bad because I'm very tall. Uh, the only uh, other combination that would be worse is being a Dane who is afraid of angry bikers. Um, yeah. how, how do I look like? I, I was told that um, by some people in this room when they first saw me, they thought I looked like an asshole. <laughs> and I don't know, usually when I go to Factor and I talk to one of the employees in English, I get a Danish reply. Um, so for some reason they think I look Danish, but I always thought the Danes, they look so nice, they can't be assholes. <laughs> so I don't know where they built that connection. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, okay, well. Um, yeah. A few weeks ago, I went to breakfast. <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy. Maybe I was sleepwalking or something. <laughs> but there I was, buttering my dry bread, um, almost dying. When Heron came and she said, Good morning, Ischel. <laughs> I was like, What? I mean, we're both tall and blonde, but there's so much more to us that makes us special and individual. <laughs> like, he has friends. Like, <laughs> So, my heart was destroyed, but then Aoi came and she said, Guten Morgen, Theo, which was not only my name, but also in German. And I couldn't be happier, but then she followed it up with, uh, That's good morning in Belgian, right? <laughs> Belgian? That's not even a language. Have, have you ever seen a Belgian dictionary, Belgian subtitles, or, I don't know, Belgian fries? No, it's all French! <laughs> so, as you know, I'm uh, from Berlin, and in Berlin we have two very shitty airports, so they're building a new one <laughs> for maybe three decades now. It was, it was supposed to open in 2013 and still no one knows when it will finish. But I have good hopes that it will finish before Brexit. <laughs> Any, anyways, uh, one year ago I had this student exchange to Denmark. So me and my friends went to the shitty airport and 
we got through the security check and for some reason I thought it would be funny to say <laughs> they didn't find the drugs in my underpants. <laughs> Which was very funny. <laughs> Until we realized there's a security guard right next to us and he heard it. <laughs> so he took me to this interrogation room <laughs> and I had to take some piece of paper something like this, and put it in my underpants, wipe it, and then they check it for drugs, like drug traces. And even though that was a very uncomfortable situation, it made me very, very happy that I didn't say I hide them in my asshole. <laughs> so, a year later, I went to this place called IPC, and uh, I had a lot of shit in my hand luggage, so I didn't like the x-ray picture, probably looked like the drawing of a two-year-old kid. And the guy, the security guard, he decided to hand check it. And he was a f pretty funny guy, he commented on everything he found. He found like a little empty flask and was like, oh, so you're an alcoholic? <laughs> Then he found this uh, lighter, and he was like, hmm, a smoker as well, okay? And I thought he was just messing with me, but apparently that was not the case, because one minute later, I was again in this interrogation room. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know why? Because he found this bag of green tea, 100 grams, and I don't know what he thought, that like, I'm dumb enough to carry 100 grams of green tea in a bag like this. I mean, at this point, I know how the system works. If I want to carry wheat from Berlin to Denmark, I of course put it in my asshole. <laughs> Thank you.